Yeah, I definitely saw you people. And um, yeah, I mean, I didn't even know uh, Malcolm X's mama was fully white. I didn't even know that, man. So, so that was one of the things on my notes that that when they started accounting for all the uh, uh, mixed superheroes in 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 history, they they Jonah Hill was quick to remind us uh, that Malcolm X was himself mixed. I mean, it was. Yeah, I mean, that was. <laughs> I hey, you know, I, hey, okay, go ahead. I mean, it was crazy. I mean, the whole. Well, I mean, I yeah. I thought. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'm saying I thought his mother. I thought his mother was a little bit darker, and I thought she was from Grenada and has can uh, tie her roots back from Africa, and also can tie the uh, the rape that happened between the uh, colonizers and her parents. So I thought that was um, pretty clear, but but I don't know. No, it has never. I mean, first of all, the argument had never been that his mother was white and that Malcolm was was mixed there was all this discussion about to what extent he had white blood i remember in, in one of the biographies they talk about him being part of the blue vein society those of us whose blue vein shows up in in, in your wrist uh that kind of thing but he was not per se in the category into which for instance i would have been placed having a fully white and jewish mother uh so uh that part was crazy uh, but also just the context in which they were trying to play that off. I mean, even if you wanted to have some sort of an objective discussion about the biology, so to speak, or the not even the biology, but the racial, the, the 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 racial categorization of Malcolm, you could do that. But to do that in the context of trying to justify this relationship uh, that had nothing to do with any of the politics of Malcolm, even in Eddie Murphy's fake black radical Muslim persona which is itself i thought of look every group i think was equally offended so so as as i'm not going to play because i don't feel like getting a copyright hit but but we did talk about off air this segment uh uh hosted by cuomo and uh two <laughs> jewish women uh where jews felt offended by the the, the thing by the film and uh uh and i think jews should feel offended by the film uh, I disagree. I don't think the okay. Jews have any right to be offended by okay. the film. Go ahead. I, 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 I to me, it, it, just listening to the Cuomo segment, at least the the offenses that were brought up in that. Now that wasn't segment, where I was going, but go ahead. Oh, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, in the in the Cuomo segment, at least the I'm, I'm willing to hear the complaints from all groups, but as far as the complaints that I heard that the the, the Jewish community. In in that segment didn't hold water for me. I, it, no, in it, that it segment that wasn't where water. I was going. I'm not meaning to agree with them. In that segment, the 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 it was it was a whole thing about how Jews, particularly in that opening scene, were made to look uh, uh, predatory and disgusting. And and uh, the other woman was saying that that just in general Jews weren't really depicted in the best light, and the film just wasn't funny. This, that, and the third. My point really was 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 somewhat satirical, but but in the sense that Jews who would want an honest depiction of their history and particularly acknowledgement of the radical elements of their history should feel offended because uh, you know that is none of that is 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 included. Um, but really what I was going on to say, you know, the, well, I was, I, go ahead. I think it's fortunate that, I mean, if, if um, I was a, a leftist Jew, an anti-Zionist Jew, a radical Jew, I would be extremely happy that the, the leftist radical uh, um, anti-capitalist uh, uh, Jews because of the way that militancy was represented in the film. I wish black militancy was also. I I think it would have been a better script. Wait, you're saying anti-Zionist militancy was in the film? No, I said that it wasn't there. I said that, that they have it. I said that they didn't show it, and it's mm -hmm. fortunate okay. that they didn't attempt to show it because they attempted to show black militancy, and it was a travesty. Right, exactly. So they showed the right. Jewish bourgeoisie or the Jewish. Mm -hmm you know, middle class and Jewish bourgeois uh, point of view, while you had alluded to that there is a leftist tradition and a leftist ideology and a leftist credentials 
for the Jewish community that wasn't demonstrated. And I think if they attempted to demonstrate that, it would have been as demonstrated as poorly as black militancy right. and right. black consciousness was betrayed, portrayed. So I wish so that was had, certainly yeah, where I, I was going. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah. yeah. Right. That was, I wish I was they had like, left. Mm. Yeah. No, I was going to say they, I, they, they had shots for Jews. They had shots for the Nation of Islam. They had shots for Muslims in general. They had shots at black radical traditions. They had shots at 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 everything was they they even had shots at. Uh, anyway, I'll come. I got a whole list of stuff. I'll come back to that. Go ahead. Uh, but yeah, but if no, I could, I, no, I'm sorry. I, the could, worst thing about these. Let, type can of I just movies. read my one? Let me just read my one summary summary line on this. This is the one line I just wanted, and then I'll stop for for, and I'll let you both. All I wanted to say was, no one should ever blame another celebrity for blunders and bad conclusions when this film represents the general approach to these relations going back decades, if not forever. And I'll stop there. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, well, no, I think we should, should stay on these celebrities. As long as they have influence in our community, uh, undue and unearned influence over our community, I think we should remain No, but my critical. point is the, the con... The, all of us are raised in a context of what this film presents as the legit discussion of interracial relationships, of black Jewish relationships. In other words, there's no substance. There's no, it, how could anyone, how could anyone emerge in this society where this film, I think does, where it does accurately represent the, the, the mainstream discussion of these subjects. How could anyone expect someone to grow up in this society in, in, with this context and reach better conclusions than they reach. So yes, I agree with you in general that these celebrities, everybody needs to be, everybody can get it. I'm a, I'm a hater. Everybody can get yeah. it and hate harder. But 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 if we're really trying to be honest about where people are getting their, their conclusions from, we would have to acknowledge that this is the context. So like, yeah, it's, it, yeah. Anyway, sorry, go ahead, Geechee, my bad. No, I, I mean, some of the things that I obviously caught was, you know, out the gate, they was uh, connecting the two fictional characters that's accused of fighting for African people, Barack and Jesus. So the uh, the queer, the black queer um, friend who has the podcast with this woke white boy, uh, they just off the back trying to uh, put Obama and Jesus again. I believe two mythical ca uh, characters, and then. You know, I, I heard the blow Dr. Sabi jab up in there. So, you know, you have the Fred Hampton shirt while you're talking about Dr. Sabi and all these conspiracies. That, and Rod um, is right. He was assassinated, not murdered. Remember, yeah, yeah. you know, the, but, the, the shirt just yeah, says so, murdered. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, but th then I think, you know, obviously something that would annoy Diallo is like them trying to do the cameo with Malcolm X there. Them trying to tarnish Malcolm X. And then lifted up Louis Farrakhan like he the total representation for that struggle, um, was 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 pretty disrespectful. So uh, uh, yeah, I think I'm the only then, brother alive about who still acknowledges that the Nation of Islam murdered him and mocked for decades, mocked and celebrated his murder. Everybody else then threw that down the memory hole. Hey man, Farrakhan but been on I Breakfast will, Club too I much. People think... don't understand it. But I do think that scene was as close to accurate and honest as this film would get in the sense that that Farrakhan is the boogeyman that Jews, white liberals and others will bring up when they want to uh, quickly frame uh, black politics. Uh, and so so that part resonated uh, with me. But. Again, not in an honest way, and not in a way that would lead in any to anything. Um, and then I will say, the Vernon philosophy it does apply to to my specific situation as the product of a black and Jewish relationship. That I don't want to see it depicted in these films. It is not reflective, almost at all, of what was my experience or what I would think should be discussed of my experience. So uh, it it's. This it's the only thing that I will say that it gets right is that just in general, Jews and any other community of whites and any other community really of non-black people do not care about black people, do not think about black people, are not concerned about black people to the extent that it's not some sort of imposition of culture, as was the case in this film. 
so that part I think is is to a, to a, to an extent honest and, and accurate in the film. Yeah, I, I can't so, say that they so, don't care about us. I I think that they have entire agencies, public and private, that do nothing but target and focus on us. But when so I'm I talking think, about white people, we're not talking about we're not talking about we're not talking about institutions and agencies. I'm talking about the general I, white public. Again, I don't think that they think about black people like that. Again, I think they do. I, I think that black people are the major scapegoats. When when white people suffer the 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 repercussions of capitalism, they blame blacks. They say but blacks take all the jobs. The, they say look blacks, at what the, they focus but that's on not us. We we. No, no, no. I mean, there Diallo, are entire, the film. There are entire Diallo, look at the, segments. Wait, Diallo, the film. Allow the me film. to say this. There are, when allow I say you. focus, there are white men <laughs> with gun bolts. There are white men in rural America who don't live within a thousand wait. miles of any black people I'm not who have gun about bolts them. and go out into the wilderness every day. That's not white mainstream, and that's not what the film was talking about. I'm talking about the white, white mainstream, white, rural white America. White people do think about us in the rural, most... Okay, when, when I'm saying the white predatory rays. But when I'm saying the white mainstream, I'm not talking about the rural wilderness militia groups. I'm talking about a bougie white middle class that is depicted in this film. And on a day-to-day -day basis, they're not talking about black people. They're not thinking about the condition of black people. They're not worried about black people. The extent, and that's what I think this film could have done well if it wanted to, is to say that particularly in Ju Julia Dreyfus's character, she, she would have been the perfect representation of this. Blackness is only relevant when a a uh, uh, something major mainstream pop cultural occurs, or she's trying to, uh, uh, was uh, that uh, the mother? Yeah, the mother. Was that the mother? Uh, the mother. Oh shit! I thought that was Tina Fey. I thought that was Tina Fey. I, I don't oh know, yeah, no. I don't do well with the white women name. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I'm a fan of Veep, so I happen to have. I'm, I've just okay. watched recently her her series oh. Veep, which I think is is one of the best series that TV could produce. But so, but the but, so tell me this though. Tell yeah. me this. Did y'all did y'all did y'all see how? So obviously, like the parents were tone deaf or still racist, and all of a sudden the kids are just woke and aware, and it, and it's almost like this insinuation of like time, time is just you know, I, I, you know how people say, well, I'm, we're not we're, we're not our ancestors, we're not the old racist enslaved enslavers, so we're different now. And then here you got tone deaf parents, and just people automatically become different. That, like, did you see any kind of like um insinuation that? Like these kids, these white kids just got woke on their own. No, like, first of all, I, I really don't like using the 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 uh, the derogatory or the the right wing connotation of woke. I, I really don't like that. But the children represent a historical cycle. You saw the father, who was around our age. He's talking about exhibit. So back in the nineties, mm -hmm. you know, white. <laughs> Upper, upper class white oh people ride. were listening to NWA and listening to, to, to black music. You go back to, and their parents were listening to, to um, Jimi Hendrix. And then their parents were listening to Negro jazz and juk and blues. So no, white people have always siphoned our culture and always went on what I call going on safari, you know, where they, they, at a certain point in their life, before they get their inheritance, they uh, and and fully join the white establishment, they like to go on safari through black culture. So most upper class white people can have that segment in time in high school or in college where they dated a a, a black person or or they um, got into really some black ethnic and or whatever culture they want to exploit but at but the I'm, time. I'm, I'm speaking, speaking, where they I'm speaking, talk I'm speaking about more to the kids though. But I'm saying the kids are not, there's not this new quote unquote woke kids or with emotional intelligence. They they were repeating the cycle. They were just carrying on the cycle of the of 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 the parents. That's why the father was all into exhibit and who is a 90s rapper, and they're into the whatever 2000s culture with the K is, and their children will also be into whatever uh culture they rape and rob and steal and co-opt from our kids. So I think even though it wasn't demonstrated in that way, no, the children were not woke. They they were upper class privileged people who see other people's culture as a place that they can dip into and extract from at their leisure. Like it's the whole world is their oyster, as they like to say. I don't know. I think what I'm saying in terms of 
the the kids, the daughter and uh, and Jonah Hill both represent or both seem to appear that they had this level of consciousness. Even you know, Jonah said, "I don't see her as a black woman. I see her as a human." Well, they were to supposed black. to be depicted as that. They, they I mean, this the film is clearly making the point that they're the new generation and the parents yeah. are old and retrograde. And Jonah yeah. has his, like you said, he has his 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 black queer co-host who tightens him up and even makes the point that black people can never get be cool with white people because mm -hmm. she, and I even liked the point that they were making in that segment where where the the line was something like uh, uh um I don't know I forgot it was it was some it was, a, it was that a, was the absolute worst line of the movie that's when was, I almost turned it off when I wasn't going to finish watching that was the absolute worst it, line of the movie when she talked about black people being the girlfriend who can't get over it it's like when you when you date a girl oh, the, and you hurt her feelings and she just can't get over it. And she, oh, she uh, created the analogy where white people are the boyfriend and black people are the wrong or spurned girlfriend who are always suspicious and just can't get over the past. That was the absolute most offensive line in the movie that the sister I'm, said I'm, with the titties on so, her chest. <laughs> So that was the I, I picked I up. Just the want, I just I want the to record to reflect again that Diallo has continued to interrupt me. So just <laughs> when everybody puts all your comments, when you go to the comments and, and tally it up, that that get the score right. Free, as, free I was Jay. Free Jay. as I free was Jay. attempting you to say, you brought that on yourself. I did, you, you brought didn't that even on let yourself. me again. You have twice already today in 22 minutes, you have twice interrupted me and misinterpreted where I was going with what I was going to say and misrepresented type my free point. Jay in the chat. That's twice Everybody in 22 type minutes. Free in the chat. I, so I just, want to, I just want to be clear. So that's not what I was the reason I was going to say that was any, the point I was trying to make was it was, it was a what, what was the word I was going to use? Something like inexpert or fumbled attempt to make a point, but they weren't saying that black people can't get over white people. They were saying black people will never forgive white people. And that's what I liked about that line. So you miss, I think you missed the point of that, that line. Now in the context of this whack movie, of course, it's easy to, 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 to make fun of, but you, I think you missed the, 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 the line there and you misquoted it. So it wasn't about, we can't get over you. It was, we I'm will never forgive, script. we will never forgive, and we will never forget. So hold on, hold right, on. Right, but if that can, was if you can but, but, but putting the, that in the context of a spurned the moment of interrupt, If you can withstand the, the, the desire to interrupt me for five seconds and let me finish my point, because that, that, was, that wasn't even where I was, you know. Uh, man, go ahead, man. That's I can't you even, just go ahead, man. <laughs> go ahead. She didn't put that in the context of never again, like the Jews say. Never she again. did. She, she said, we're never going to be cool. She said, we can never be cool. We're never, we never going to be you. cool. That's, That's what, she, what said. she said. She said, she said, I quote verbatim, that black people just can't get over it in the context of. It's something we should get over. It's I don't something think that's verbatim, and over. I don't think you got and the context right, but that's all right. It don't wait, matter. Wait, wait, you really I, think, so you agree that black people in relationship to white people behave don't start like doing your Don't start doing your straw stuff. Is that nope. not what she said? Nope. Listen, I that's remember. Not how I, I heard it. What I said was, I, what I said was, and I would, uh, and I would, and I feel this don't way. Wait. Never forgive, never forget, and never get, she and never get that. over she it. Didn't, she, See, I'm not saying I'm quoting her verbatim. You're the one claiming that. I'm saying you're wait, misrepresenting yeah, and misquoting I, I, her. I think it's, I think it's, I think it's two different statements though, because I, rem I do remember they could never be cool. I don't remember exactly what she said about the like a girlfriend thing. I do, I, I remember. He's right. It, but He's, I don't she the makes that, the, the the argument. She does do that thing. We're like the girlfriend that you broke up with. That's why I said it's a fumble yeah, in a bad analogy. But her conclusion is one that I thought was something that was I, agreeable. That black people are never going cool. to be cool with white folks. White folks can never First be all, trusted. Yeah, and that's why she's standing. Oh, yeah, you can't have a relationship. I like to. Hey, yo, I'd love. To come amongst the black, tell me where y'all at. Drop your uh, ad address, cause I want to come live where y'all are, where black people never forgiven white folks. Cause where I'm about, where I live, and the black folks I'm around, sure ain't in in in. in I'm in, in Columbia, uh, Maryland. Unforgiving of white I'm in folks. Columbia, so Maryland. I'm between DC and Baltimore on a daily, address. and none DC? of it. There DC? are zero. There, but you just asked the people in my circle. Washington, I didn't DC in America. <laughs> 
<laughs> we just had a brother on last week talking about he was mad that white folks wasn't integrating. Mm. <laughs> DC is where all the black people, the unforgiving blacks are in DC. In the DMV are the unforgiving militant blacks who ain't gonna never be cool with white folks. Maybe y'all. I feel like you. You cool interact. I feel like you find who you want to find where you go somewhere. That's what I think is happening with you. <laughs> yeah, I think you I, find I who you want to find, find the, and that's why Diallo. People. And that's why Diallo. Whenever you've been in D.C., you've never been where I'm at. That's no, exactly never, right. I, I've I never got, seen you in D.C. I ain't got that. I ain't. I ain't got never. money like that. Oh, that's where I'm at. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> this guy. This guy. I'd be wild. around amongst the working class. You know, I'd be the king of the, the straws. Put, that, put, put king of the straws as your as your yeah. title there. You the king of the You're straws, my man. I keep it real. Anyway, I'm just keeping it so, above. It is hella offensive <laughs> that's to not portray. Above. If anything, we never because a girlfriend and boyfriend, a dating intimate relationship suggests volunteering, suggests two uh consenting individuals it's more akin to a rapist than a rape victim so when you take that situation and you call a rape victim a girlfriend a spurned girlfriend again the whole I didn't, setup for that i'm not point disagreeing was, with you was out of pocket and out of line and i encourage everyone listening to me go back and watch that go watch that because yeah, i picked back up my it. remote and was about to turn that shit off Okay, but the point I'm getting at was and to try to say, oh yeah, but you made a good point. No, that 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 point, black people ain't never forgiven. Never black people ain't never getting over. I now, didn't say we good ain't point. the ones with the good... hang up. We ain't the the ones provoking the conflict. We ain't the ones gentrifying again, and expelling. I didn't say any of this. None of this is, is none of this was the point that I was making. Name so you're, again, you're talking to the to straw that person we wasn't willing that to get over the and room. move on with. Diallo continues to talk to people who are not in the room. So if you were talking to me, that's not directed at me. So whoever you, you were talking to, I hope they that received that message. Black people are are not able to get over what white I folks said. Diallo, Diallo, that's Diallo, what she Diallo, said. Stop, you would stop talking for ten seconds and pay attention. What I said was it was a bad analogy. She fumbled her way through it. I said she made a point that I find agreeable and that I do think is persistent within the black community. I don't think that the overwhelming majority of black people truly feel the way you're suggesting these bourgeoisie Negroes in D.C. feel. I don't think that's the case. I think she was respect. She was reflecting a point that many do feel. And I think it's a legitimate point that that black people won't ever get over it. Now, I said it was a bad analogy. It was a fumbled attempt. Although I had to say that after you interrupted me multiple times, but that was the point I was getting at. It was not to say that I agreed with her point, and it was not to say to set myself up to be this straw that you have set me up to be anyway. So I don't the the, the need to argue against me in this instance is is inappropriate. I'm I'm not disagreeing with your overall point. I'm simply saying what I said. All right. Yeah, we can wrap at the 30 minute mark. We can wrap at the 30 minute mark. Go ahead, Diallo. Go ahead. Did you, did, or I'll just go ahead and finish. Since you're since you stopped talking, let me go ahead and finish some of the points I was going to make. Um and who's echoing? Who's who's echoing? Probably Diallo Mike. Right, Always so, me. So cuz you don't ever put your headphones on. Anyway. So so here's a couple other things I, I so the other thing I didn't like was um, so Hampton was assassinated. They lampoon, uh, they, they reduce black radicalism to silliness. Then they do the whole white men can't jump scene where, oh, where they yeah. bring us back to, to show us that Jonah Hill can play basketball and shame black people on a basketball court. So that, that was ridiculous. Jump, jump, yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, uh, right after the, bop, the hood bop shop, the game. Now the part where that had me, where Diallo said he was with that last scene, was was towards the end, where um, Jonah Hill gets to give this speech to Eddie Murphy, condemning him for being yeah, yeah. this old angry black man that hasn't given cool. his 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 daughter a chance to find love, and reducing him that is Eddie Murphy to a reactionary lunatic. Uh, I, that was the part yeah. of the film where I was like, now, now they're trolling me. Now they've gone too far, and they're now they're really trying to get me to be upset. Um, but that was the, that was, but that was where, and this is Geechee, where I think we were both correct on this. That that this is where the film was trying to concretize the point that Jonah 
and and Lauren London are the new generation of advanced thinkers and Eddie Murphy and Julia Louis Dreyfus, who then have to team up at the end to show themselves as the apologetic elders who are now going to stop holding what? back the youth. Uh, but, uh, but, since you, uh, but, since you, but since you're there, do, yeah. you, do you believe that Jonah's monologue against Eddie was a lot stronger than Lauren's monologue against the white oh, mom? Oh, of course. Of course, that was my, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. actually was... in my next part of the yeah. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 there, there's the, the Lauren London. That's what I was waiting for. I was like, uh oh, okay, yeah. Lauren about to go in. No, no, it's a very tame. I'm a person. See me as a person. I'm not a pet or a toy. And then she just sort of walks away. Jonah like leaned in and read this man, and uh, uh, and I was like, I. Anyway, I was like, man, even if I'm wrong, I would never stand here and let this man. <laughs> anyway, also, by the way, the worst part of the film, real just real quick, the worst part of the film is where they have Nia Long, the legendary uh, great Nia Long, refer to Julia Louis Dreyfus, her peer, as Miss Shelley. Uh -huh. That was that was the other part where I was ready to throw my my uh, uh, computer out the window. I wonder, I wonder if, uh, so I don't know if I just caught this, but before L Lauren moved in with the white dude, it looked like she was living in the projects. Like, I, I don't know, the, the doors, the, the, the little clank doors, I, they didn't really mm, show didn't the scene, that. but I, I wonder if, because, you know, the mom said, oh, we married into wealth and, you know, mm. you know generational wealth. She did say that, but I wonder, but although, although Eddie was driving a, a Mercedes, the mom, the white mom was driving a BM, BMW truck. And they did have, but, what's yeah. his name is the, the hood cousin, right? Or the hood brother, right? His, his, what's his name, the comedian? Omar. Michael um, Epps. Michael Epps. Michael Epps, 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 who, Epps. Who was bigging up Joe Rogan. He was pretty much selling Joe Rogan. They bigged Rogan, up uh, Joe Rogan. Rogan. They did. Joe Rogan they bigged up tickets. Joe Rogan. Yeah. Anyway, so, so this film was sure great. People... This, this film was great. And we all recommend it. Diallo especially says you should go watch this film and enjoy it. Hey, listen, man. I think y'all missed. Women, I, I I think y'all missed some of the biggest issues with that movie. Y'all just glossing. Go ahead, correct us. That's what you're here for. We, we, we I ain't saying I'm correcting y'all. I didn't though. say y'all said something wrong. I think you, you just said we glossed over. But what did we gloss over? Go ahead, ungloss First of all, it. The, the, Take the, the shine the, off. The, the ongoing trope in these types of movies, these these uh, uh, especially in the rom com arena, but in many of these. Uh, uh, fish out of water type movies is that racial issues are pretty much rooted in in misunderstanding and and uh, cultural uh, uh, quirks as opposed to racial issues being rooted in ongoing exploitation and and predatory extraction of of our wealth and exploitation and 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 uh, um, mimicry and mockery and and um, and um, commodification of black culture. So even though we're here looking at these corny ass jokes and all these little corny ass bullshit interactions, but the entire movie was basically like black people beyond your superficial aesthetic component of your culture, you have no value. So you got black shoes, black music, black swag, black fish and wa chicken and waffles. And black culture was was the fucking uh, uh, ocean. It was it, it it was the 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 environment. It was the scene. You see the part where he got down to kneel uh, to put a ring on her finger, and he took his shoe off so he, it wouldn't crease his his sneakers. Oh, but the film and I remember said all of that. Uh, Eddie Murphy read him about all of that. Eddie Murphy said, and even in their discussion on the podcast, they made fun of that reality. So they're trying to tell you can, they're not can, doing can, it you're talking about, but they did try to tell you. And so was, Eddie Murphy was, was part of the, uh, of the, uh, uh, Eddie Murphy was fully embedded, was fully a part and fully embedded in the, in the, in the, uh, in the offense. He, he was a part of the problem. He wasn't trying to call it out. It was call it. Oh yeah. You, you want to be like us when he turned around and said, I see you in me. And gave yeah. the dude full certification and justification. I'm a Muslim and we eat pork. I'm a Muslim and I'm sitting here uh, uh, in, um, uh, using profane language and conducting. What is a Muslim besides eating with Farrakhan and wearing a kufi? 
what's what's what was islamic what so when black people are mad when black people got our problems we put on funny hats and act you know salty towards white people on a superficial level so portraying race relations and the race problem with we just won't sit down and talk we just refuse to, to really understand each other's customs we have refused to see each other as opposed to these motherfuckers that stole trillions of dollars from us and got genocidal oppression mass incarceration and all that no the problem is you know uh white people sometimes they get a little too into hip-hop and 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 they 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 don't really recognize they got to step lightly with with Diallo at the dinner table culture. they said Jews that were involved was, in the slave trade. This is a great yeah. movie. Diallo is tripping. And, and so this is like the most the radical movie, film ever. I'm like the, the man, worst, y'all gotta go see this man. To me, Eddie is the a worst superhero. Offense, Stop tripping. Number one, the worst offense about that movie is that it wasn't fucking funny. I can look, look, I, oh, can I can rock can, with, can I can rock with offensive, can I can rock movie. with it. So then you do inaccurate. agree with the Cuomo segment, because that was ultimately what the comedian was saying. She was like, I'm a Jew and I I'm agree. offended, but ultimately I it just a, wasn't funny. I don't agree <laughs> with, I agree. I think that- well, That's I, the headline. It, it, to the extent the that comedy can be objective, that you can objectively uh, uh, evaluate whether or not something is funny, <laughs> This movie was not fun. No. And it was yes, it, I, I, it, I, but in terms of the Diallo so agrees with the Jews. But in terms of like I said, in terms of man, black you culture, tripping. this is the best movie ever. This is The Godfather. This is this is what's the best comedy ever. Y'all now y'all get you this is the Can, best. So, I'm going to go watch it again. What, what's, the, is, what's dude name? Netflix Kenya, Kenya, Kenya Barris. Good. What's dude name? <laughs> Kenya Barris, the uh, director or, or person who made the movie. Yeah, and his whole thing, he has a, a clearly he he is he is really trying to project his 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 um, experience Blackness. with interracial, multiracial background experiences onto the world, and it's not helping. It's not helping. I mean, I mean they uh-huh. had the Let's magical the Negro. They had the mm-hmm. black best friend. They mm-hmm. had all the trope. It was it was tired. They didn't even you know. The black the, queer the, the best movie friend tried to uh, portray itself as being aware of the issues when it was perpetuating uh, the issues when it was very much engaged in what it what it, it it pretended to be calling out or exposing, you know, which is a, a level of being up your own ass. I haven't been exposed to in quite some time. 